Hi, it's Lewis. Today I'm going to show you how to set the controls and assemble the torch on a plasma cutter. In this video, I'll be using a Thermodynamics Cutmaster 50, but many of the settings and controls are standard and will apply no matter which plasma cutter you're using. However, always check the manual on your machine to verify you are using it correctly. A plasma cutter has numerous dials and indicators used for controlling the machine. Selecting the right settings is important and will affect the type of cuts you produce. Let's go through the controls of this machine along with what they do. Most plasma cutters have a control knob. It is used to select the different methods of operation. Located on your plasma cutting machine should be a function that purges air through the unit, torch and leads. You can use it to set the machine's PSI when setting your machine. You can also use it to cool down the torch components after they become hot. Located on your plasma cutting machine should be a function that is used for general cutting operations and is the most common setting for the jobs you'll perform. On this machine, it is the run setting. Located on your plasma cutting machine is a function that allows faster restarting of the pilot arc and is used for uninterrupted cutting. On this machine, it is the rapid auto restart selection. With the machine on this setting, the pilot arc restarts instantly when the pilot arc contacts the workpiece. With the knob in the run position, there is a brief delay in restarting the arc. The rapid auto restart mode is typically used when cutting expanded metal or gratings, or in some gouging or trimming operations. Lastly, located on your plasma cutting machine is a mode that is used for longer, handheld cuts. On this machine, it is referred to as the latch function and allows you to release the torch switch once the arc has been established. The arc will remain on until the torch leaves the workpiece the torch switch is activated again, or one of the system interlocks is activated. Next, let's go over the output control. This sets the plasma cutter's output current. The higher the current, the thicker the material, the plasma arc can cut through. Most applications use 40 amps, but some, like when you need to drag the torch tip on material for a precise cut, may need 60 amps. Locate the gas pressure control knob. This controls the PSI of the gas flowing to your torch. On this machine, the knob must be turned to set to adjust the gas PSI. For setting the PSI, pull the knob out, turn it to the desired position, then push the dial back in. Your PSI can be set in other modes, but the response will be slow. It will be easier to set the PSI in set mode first, then switch to run mode. These are the machine indicator lights. They notify the user of a component status. When the AC indicator light is a steady green, it means the power is on and the machine is ready for operation. If the light is blinking red, the machine is in protective interlock mode. This happens when there is a fault. Faults can be caused by lack of air pressure, incorrect voltage, a disconnected torch lead line, or improper connection of the torch line, air line, or ground wire. If you see the AC indicator light blinking, shut the unit off and disconnect the affected component. You'll need to correct the fault before reconnecting the component and restarting the machine. Once done, make sure the AC indicator light is a steady green. This is the temp indicator. The light is normally off, but it will turn on when the internal temperature of the plasma cutter exceeds its temperature limit. If this indicator turns on while you are using the machine, turn it off and let the unit cool before continuing operation. This is the gas indicator light. It will turn solid green when the minimum amount of gas required for the operation of the machine is detected. This is the DC indicator light. It will turn on when the DC output circuit is active and your pilot arc has been established. This is the fault error indicator. This light is red and will begin to blink whenever there is something potentially wrong 
with the machine. As an example, you will see here when I disconnect the gas supply, the indicator for the gas turns off and the indicator turns red. When I plug the gas back into the machine, the fault indicator turns off and the gas indicator turns on, along with the PSI indicators. The indicator will illuminate according to the pressure set by the pressure control knob. There are four consumable parts associated with this machine. They are an electrode, a starter cartridge, a plasma tip, and a shield cup. Out of these four, the plasma tip is the most prone to damage and will need to be replaced regularly. Dragging the plasma tip on the surface you are cutting will wear the tip out faster and you'll need to replace it more frequently. To assemble the plasma torch, first install the electrode by placing it into the torch head until it clicks. Then install the starter cartridge and desired tip for the operation into the torch head. Finally, tighten the shield cup assembly until it is seated on the torch head. If you feel resistance, check the threading is aligned. No force is needed for assembling the torch. You can now begin to make your cuts. If you're interested in learning more about other tools, check out our other how-to videos on our YouTube channel. I'm Lewis, thanks for watching.